Hey, good evening. It's Steve with Real Progressives. And I was just wondering, have any of y'all ever paid any attention to sports? Well, I love sports. It's been a long time since I paid attention to them, but I do love sports. And one of the things that I remember is that sometimes winning a game doesn't always mean that you've won the whole thing, right? Or losing a game doesn't necessarily mean that you've lost everything. One of the things that I noticed is, is that sometimes a point differential matters more to get you into the playoffs as a football team. Um, you don't have to win the game. Sometimes winning the game is not necessarily the right move. Um, so what I've decided is, is that because the Hillbots and the establishment types and um, many of the Bernie supporters that don't really understand politics... Um, and even some of the uh, noobs that have joined up have decided to tell us that if you can't win the election, then it's a wasted vote. It's not worth doing. So I decided to throw in the towel and just forget about it because there's no point in doing any of it, right? I mean, wh why bother? I mean, seriously. I mean, if we can't actually win the election, what else could there possibly be to voting for someone that quote unquote can't win? Well, let's talk about that for a minute. I mean, if we're actually really only concerned with winning, then that means that even though I can't stand the Dallas Cowboys when they were winning championships, I should stop rooting for the Washington Redskins and become a Cowboys fan. That means when I love the Baltimore Orioles that I should stop following the Baltimore Orioles that I should suddenly become a Yankees fan. Or that means when I'm a Steelers fan that I should throw away my Steelers stuff and only root for the New England Patriots because, after all, the New England Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. It's the only time it makes sense to root for anybody because if you're going to lose, what's the sense in watching the freaking game? You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, that's what it comes down to. In hockey, I rooted for the Capitals all the way through. What a stupid guy I was. I should have rooted for the Penguins. That way I could have won. Why else would I watch hockey if I'm not going to watch the winning team, right? So let's take it to politics, right? Why in the world would I vote for anybody other than the one that wins the election? I mean, think about how stupid it is to vote for somebody that's not actually going to win. It's ridiculous, right? You all know I'm joking. But this is the nonsense that comes out. People are saying, well, millennials want somebody that's going to win the election, so that's why they're going to vote for Hillary, because they want to vote for a winner. Well, <laughs> winning is always a matter of perspective, right? What is it that you're trying to do? Well, of course, we want to win the White House. We want to win the game. But sometimes getting your backup catcher into the game is more important so that you can win long term than it is to win that game. Sometimes it's better to get your backup quarterback three or four games of starting so that you have a long-term success as opposed to winning right then when you know you're going to get wiped out in the first round. Well, think about this. Think of Hillary Clinton as the one-and-done team, that team that goes into the playoffs you know has no chance of winning the Super Bowl, but they're going to get knocked out in the first round. So voting for her is a guaranteed loss because she's not going to support any of the progressive stuff. Her leaked videos, her leaked recordings show exactly what she thinks about progressives and exactly what she thinks about our issues. She's not going to fight for them, folks. In fact, she's absolutely mocking the living shit out of us. So when you say you want to root for the winner, well, what does that mean to you? What is the winner? I cannot believe for a minute that we only think about winning as in winning the White House. Winning might be setting ourselves up for momentum for the midterms. Winning might be setting ourselves up for momentum for getting a progressive to run against whoever the one is from the establishment in 2020. Winning might be getting federal matching funds. Winning might be just giving the finger to the establishment. Winning might be making sure that they know that the progressive com community has come for real, that we've come to fight, and that we have power. That might be what winning is. Winning might be the wake-up call to the Democrats to say the left has left you. That might be what winning is. It all depends on your perspective. So if your only goal is to win this sham of an election, this sham that we've played into, if that's your only goal, 
Well, then, yeah, vote for the winner. Vote for some loser that's going to kill your kids. We always have to really be careful about defining what a victory is, right? You know, I don't consider, think about it. I mean, how many times have you gone out to a bar or something like that trolling for a date? Now, if your only goal is to go home with someone that night, well, just anyone will do, won't they? But if you're looking for a wife or a husband, first of all, you might not want to go to a bar to find that person. But second of all, winning is about the long term, right? So you're marrying this presidential candidate, whoever it is you're voting for. It's not like a one night stand. You're stuck with this person for four to eight years. So when you think about it like that, if you're going to be in a bad marriage, do you want to actually enter into it willingly? Or would you rather enter into a marriage with someone you know that you're going to split up with and you're going to fight and you're going to beat? I know I don't want to enter into a long-term relationship with someone who doesn't hold my values. I don't know. I don't. I know. I don't want to proactively solicit that person into my relationship. So, what does winning mean? To me, winning means looking at the long term and building, 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 building. And this progressive movement only builds, 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 builds when we tell the people that fake like they're progressives that we know who you are, we know what you're about, and you're not about us. You're not progressive. We're not supporting you. It's over finie. So when you talk about winning, winning might be seeing the establishment going, they didn't support my candidate. That might be what winning is to us. And it might also be getting it a friggin' tsunami of support to knock the right wing out for good. That might be what winning is. But I can tell you right now, we lose no matter what with either Trump or Hillary. We lose, period. But we have at least unification. That's the one thing we have with that dipshit Trump in the White House, right? We got everybody. So what is winning? To me, winning is seeing everybody remember that they're anti-war. To me, winning is seeing everybody suddenly remember they care about the environment. To me, winning is seeing people take to the streets and saying enough's enough. To me, winning is saying, I will never just vote blue again. To me, winning is telling African Americans there's a big tent for you and it's called progressives. Stop playing into the Democratic Party. To me, winning is telling Hispanics, hey guys, we got a place for you in the progressive movement. To me, winning is telling homosexuals and transgender individuals, hey, you've got place for us in the progressive movement. For me, telling blue-collar white people that have traditionally fallen off the face of the earth, hey, you have a place in the party with us, here, with progressives. That's winning. Winning does not mean winning the White House to me if it means selling out and killing our kids to a warmonger. That is not a win. That is not a win to me. So you got to be very specific about your criteria, your go, no go. What does it mean to win? Are we going forward? Check. Hey, blue team, do you guys got what you need? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're all in unification. Okay, check. How about you, green team? Do you have what you need? Yes, sir. Check. Okay, brown team? Well, no. Okay, guys. So bottom line is no go. That's what I'm calling a win when we say no go when it's the right no go. Not just saying go, go, go. If go is wrong, you say no. No go. Go, no go. Any of you guys in IT out there? You know what a go no go is. Hey, we got this user interface. Do you like it? Yes or no? Ah, uh, no, no go. We're gonna have to go back, put it back into uh, development. Got to go back to the drawing board, get those wireframes right. Go back through the beginning planning. Give me another design, folks. This right here, this neoliberal shit, it's a no go. Don't just go because you have this desire to win. Remember. If you hate the Dallas Cowboys, there's a reason for hating the Dallas Cowboys. They suck. That's the bottom line. 
don't fall for it just because you have this like tie the strap off in your arm you want to win so bad you're willing to shoot the win into your veins oh fuck i just voted for hillary ah oh. no we don't need that kind of heroin we don't need van sacklin there's none of that we need to stand firm and remember what it means to win Think about it, folks. These people are seriously looking for a quick fix, man. That's what they're looking for. They want to win. They're not talking about actually winning. They're talking about killing themselves. They're talking about snorting bad blow, shooting bad smack, snorting bad friggin' antifreeze. Whatever it is, they're talking about doing all the wrong things. And they call that a win. And that's not a win. No matter how you slice and dice, it's not a win. Death is death is death is death. And unless we understand that so that we can fight against it, we're doomed to repeat it. Again, ask yourself, what is a win? Define what a win is. And then once you've made up your decision on what it takes to win, cast your vote accordingly. This is Steve with Real Progressives, hoping you've learned a little something about defining success criteria and then executing. Have a great night.